I'm Nina, Bro Nina Brown, and you are now watching the Nina channel. <laughs>
you been new. Like, who didn't know? Like, <laughs> so it's like, you know, congrats on her finally come, you know, finally seeing it, you know, and being out with it. Congrats. Um, speaking of trends and all that, there's some mess going on with like, I, I, I try not getting caught up in all of this, but like T.S. and uh, T.S. Madison, somebody named Jess, Jess something, and then some other trans girl and Angelica from Poe, uh, Pose and Flame and Roll, like just all this mess is going on between like, you're not a real woman, you don't have, you know, a period, da, da, da. all that stuff. I just feel like all this is gonna come to a big clash and it's not gonna be good. I just don't know where all this is gonna go. I don't know. I'm gonna have to talk about that maybe like one day on a live stream so I can really talk to people and get their opinions and we can share opinions and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, let's go ahead and get to this. Season one. Ow. I, RuPaul, was San Diego, California. <laughs> I swear his face literally it remains like the same kind of like, this just looks like somebody could have Photoshopped him to make him look smaller, but that's, it's still him now. <laughs> oh, back when he had more than two strands of eyebrows. You better work. Look at me now. I was so, like, I'm getting like in the feels a little bit watching this. I'm like, ah, uh, the respect I had for that person. The love I had for them. The happiness of like being proud of them. Like, ah. Uh. And as beautiful as these dolls are. And dang, these intros were long. They were showing the whole season in their intro. <laughs> it's like the trailers for the movies. Speaking of trailers, have y'all seen the trailer for the Exorcist movie? Now, well, real quick, these are my new kind of things. I still love my, um, you know, my Luigi ice, but I couldn't find them. So I bought these. Had to buy this big old box. So good. Like, let them melt a little bit. Mm. Especially the sour apple. Bomb. But yeah, for the Exorcist movie, you know, because people were in the comments saying like, uh, well, this remake is not going to be as good. You know, you know we, they always say that about every remake. And like, The Exorcist is one of the, is the scariest movie of all time. And I'm like, I'm sorry, but I don't see it. I don't see it. Maybe if I was like, born around that time and like, you know, I lived around that time and it was like the first time like I guess scary thing I guess to come to the theaters in that kind of way maybe at that time maybe right but watching it I never saw the hype I think it's really hyped I think it's I, I think there's so many better written and scary -er things like Carrie for example like stuff like that to, in my and this is just my opinion I don't really find the excess that scary but the trailer does seem like they're relying a lot more on, I guess, scares. But it looks pretty interesting, especially like towards the end of the trailer where it was showing like the two girls in the chair and oh, and and the shots. They were oh, it, they look creepy. <laughs> so I'm definitely gonna watch. Y'all know I have to always have these little random things, but yeah, oh, look at that picture. Back when RuPaul had a hairline, and they cared about her hairline. Look <laughs> at this. Wow. <laughs> Girl, the work room was literally like the lunch room and they just put a few tables in there. <laughs> but I love it. I love it. Before all the money and glitz, like it was just raw. Ooh. Oh my God. This is so we got Chanel. So personally, yeah, she had some things to say about me. Once again, a hoe, they don't even know me. <laughs> Never met her. But she's always, to me, looked like the racist neighbor next door. Not saying she is, but she just reminds me of that. <laughs> you know, because I think she just has such a mean girl face, right? But um, I, I'm going to try to judge these looks from, like, the time they were in and, like, just how I feel. And I feel like I would, um, I want to say buy this. I'm going to rent it. The pants are a little, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But... It's cute. <laughs> it's so funny looking at this. And look at the old school sewing machine. I can't. I won't. And y'all, the quality of the videos, look, I don't think it can go past 200p. <laughs> I wish they would like 
spend some money and like update it to make it look more current, but I don't think they are. <laughs> See, look at those thin, evil, racist woman eyebrows. <laughs> She's like, she's gonna say, get off my yard, get off my yard, get off my yard. Ronnie, Ronnie, come tell them to get off my yard. I don't want them, I don't want their blackness staying in my driveway. Hi, I am Jorge Flores, a I like to be. Wow, Nina Flowers was 34 years old way back then. Wait, when is, when is season one premiere? Why? I don't know why it seems like Drag Race started in the 1990s. But it was literally 2009. Why does this seem so long ago? Like, I feel like this is like 1999 stuff. I can't see her out, but she's 34 then. So yeah, she's yeah she's she's up there now. But I, I think if I recall, it's like some bell bottoms. I'm gonna rent it. But back when the girls, okay, if they didn't have on too much breast, at least they would paint some cleavage or something. Back when the girls did that. <laughs> Oh, Rebecca Glass caught the first, the first Puerto Rican trade, huh? <laughs> Girl, I miss these days. <laughs> she just came in in a Marshalls or Ross or TJ Maxx outfit and her wig out the bag and was like, I'm giving you everyday fish. <laughs> I'm going to rent the look because I live for the foolery. Hi. You guys are fabulous. <laughs> also known as Ongina. Oh, everybody, you remember the child from the Golden Child movie with Eddie Murphy? This is them now. <laughs> but not on Johnny had hair back then, had a little fade. And scope up the competition. They're not really showing the look like they do now on the seasons, but this is something I'm going to pass on. But it's very on Jana. You know, it's very on Jana. <laughs> but Lord, where was the makeup? <laughs> Even for back then, where was the makeup? Hello. Oh, we have another legend, honey. Poor Miss Porkchop. <laughs> now, Miss Porkchop is the person that stays beside the racist neighbor. Like, Porkchop isn't, like, she isn't racist, but she's a nosy neighbor who's always cackling with the racist neighbor. But then when the racist neighbor isn't looking, she had poor shop has the black neighbor, the construction worker in her bedroom, banging her out and then sends him on his way with a tub of wear, a potato salad with raisins. With that being said, I'm going to rent this look. <laughs> I, I can't really see it. But I'm assuming she has on some regular black business pants and just this blouse from Home Depot. Decided to do <laughs> Akasha. <laughs> you know, for that time, she came in the dressing room kind of like sickening. I mean, like for that time, like the outfit is like, okay, like, oh, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy the look. Oh, poor Chop had on a dress. Okay, yeah, definitely gonna, I'm actually gonna buy her look now. <laughs> Akasha definitely had an attitude. She was the first black queen with an attitude to enter. <laughs> Like, I know it could read as confidence, but it was kind of a little stank, too. A little stank. I worked with her one time, my first booking at the Drag Race. Wherever they have Cedar Point at, I think it was Ohio. Um, she has that club where they have, have like, a boxing ring in the middle of the club. Something like, something like that. But, yeah, she was sweet. She was sweet. Hers is a little flabby. It jiggles. Mine is solid muscle, so it doesn't, like, move at all. <laughs> the first read of the season of Drag Race. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh! it, it, as a boy, I feel like Tammy still looks the same. But Lord, Tam, for I don't, this is no girl. If I had saw Tammy at nighttime, she would scare me. Push back then. She's like somebody who would be a part of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre family. It's the head. It's the head. <laughs> but the head is also what makes her Tammy and special. You know, she definitely she has she, she's always had that. It's funny how that is her aesthetic because she, she does look like somebody from like the 50s, those old times. You know, you just put her in a little polka dot dress, an apron, black and white video. She fits right in. Uh, but as far as the look goes, I'm going to pass on it. But every time I look at Tammy, she was staring at me and she was winking. 
<laughs> See, it's scary. She's scary. <laughs> and she was creepy. <laughs> David, I'm 24 years old. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, I guess some of y'all will consider him the first Puerto Rican trade of the season. The trade is definitely my alter ego. It's like looking back at this season now, I'm like, it was the formula for like how they casted girls, I think, throughout, it seems like. So like, as far as Jade looks goes, it's okay. Past one. But like, I'm saying this because I'm like, I feel like she's like, okay, her and Rebecca, they're like the first like, you know, I guess Puerto Rican queens and then all the other seasons followed, there came in a girl like her. So it was like, so you think about girls like Nation and them. I feel like they kind of were like after them. Then of course, Aunt China's like the Asian queen, the Asian queen came with her and the black queen, you know, and then the big queen, poor chop, like, and then the artsy kind of queen, which is like Nina Flowers. Like, you know, it's just like, oh, it's the formula. I don't know if it was intentional, but it seemed like it happened just like that afterwards. <laughs> it's hard to see their outfits, but I mean, it's okay. I put it on layaway, but I'm surprised BB didn't have somebody carrying her on her shoulder, on her shoulders, because she's that kind of person. Like, girl, she'll make you carry her bags or suitcases. She'll make you do all that thing. And you kind of don't mind, you don't mind doing it because you're like, that's just her personality. She's extra. She thinks she's the queen. And like, you know, like, just let her, let her, let her, let her live her fried chicken watermelon fantasy, you know? <laughs> or, because she's African, her foo foo fantasy. Okay, let her live it. <laughs> I still don't understand the whole like I I still don't think there was any shade towards people like that. I think it was just the term of in my opinion, she because they're all trying to be women and then male because they're getting male. So she male. I don't think it was like a play on like I mean it could have been a small play on it but it wasn't like to offend anybody. Uh competition. You're going to need Girl, what in the sepia tones? <laughs> I don't remember it being this color. I thought she was in color. I cannot. Breakthrough drag superstar. Mm -hmm. Even the way she's speaking, she just seems much more like fun. Like she's having fun doing it. Like she's like, uh, 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 uh. Videos. He's made people view us in a different. See, and now when he would walk in and like give everybody kisses and was happy to see everybody, now he's like standing ten feet away. Speaking to everybody. <laughs> My pleasure to have you all here. Girl, I swear RuPaul did the Michael Jackson and Diana Ross skin regiment because he was darker. Now he's much lighter now. <laughs> and you could, and I guess he has had, had some work done because he looks really different. Like it looks like him, but then kind of different. If you look at him now and then these how he did looks then. Of course he was younger, but yeah, there was definitely some pumping and dumping going on. But I'm not but look. That's what you're supposed to do in Hollywood, to be honest. And thanks to Southwest Airlines, you arrived here. Not Southwest. Oh, no, ma'am. Only Delta, huh? The winner will receive a feature photo spread in Paper Magazine. Oh, no. You don't want to do Paper Magazine. If I could only go back in time and tell them. <laughs> don't do it. Trust me. I'm the Absolute Vodka Pride Tour across the U.S. Is there anybody here that actually back then went to the Absolute Vodka Tour, you know, and was it good? Anybody that remembers it? $20,000, courtesy of... <laughs> of course, the Black Queen. You now, she's listing all the prizes. Eyeglass wear, headline a tour, magazine shoot. You know, she's just clapping. And a grand prize of 20 bucks. Ah! <laughs> Dang, RuPaul was right on the D like cranberries in that picture on the right. I forgot about Mike Luis. Girl, I wonder, I wonder, has he ever slept with any of the drag race contestants? I wonder. And to assimilate well into this situation, which is going to be hard. <laughs> Damn me a mess. <laughs> That's sexy, yes. Shot. All right. That was a shot. Our car, and you want them to clean it. Now they mistake poor shot for the car. JK! <laughs> Fighter Six. Oh, yes, yes, yes. New challenger, Jean-Claude Van Damme. It is me, Jean-Claude Van Damme. 
And damn, John Cott, oh, this bubble, oh, God, sorry. Follow us on the journey with John Cott Van Damme as he learns his martial arts styles that we all love. Oh, yeah, pause it right there. Damn, John Cott Van Damme. Anyway, he now goes and finds himself in all new challenges to become the star. Uh, oh, my, my. Oh, great. That's Kali Mino. We start together in Street Fighter. Me, Jean Garfard, been down. I was the best guy out in Street Fighter. You knock off. Hi, ya! Anyway, yes, yes. Follow us behind the scenes of his new movie, Blood Sport 3, with Jean Claude. God damn, Van. Damn. New challenger, Whitney Houston. It's not right, but it's okay. Okay, now where the hell is Bobby? He owes child support for our daughter, Bobby Christina. Now, I know he likes to come here to this goddamn mall. Bobby, where you at, Bobby? Now, who done turned my song to a bad house song? Does that bitch got roses coming out of her wig? Oh, no. I see where the hell is Bobby? Your Bobby's right there. Bobby, is that you? You know you owe me some child support. Give me that check now, Bobby. Did his black old oh, know his black ass then? Did he just walk away from me, Whitney? Look here, girl. Where's Bobby? Boss, she's looking for Bobby. Bitch. Oh, you just let that man beat you inside the head? I ain't gonna lie. Bobby used to knock me inside the head too. But I used to knock his ass back. I told you I'll find you, Bobby. You ain't Bobby. I had to whoop your ass for no reason. So get ready to look at Van Damme's butt, I mean his martial arts style, and find Bobby with Whitney in Street Fighter 6. Uh. Oh, yes, Ow, she's already ready. But oh my god, back to the girl. But they would just mess up all your drag. Your wig, they didn't care, they'd spray you down. I could tell she was pissed for being. I would too. Like, I didn't get. Put all this on for this mess. When I saw the car and that black man's bonkers. Ay ay ay. Put it into cruise control. <laughs> These faces. <laughs> Not her good bangs. Tammy, her eyebrows are as a boy are just out of whack. Jay. I love her eyebrows. After Rebecca took her makeup off, I thought she might have had her lips done. Back then, they read everybody who got a drag. <laughs> we went to the dollar store and got you a whole bunch of crap. Excuse you, some people buy their whole life and house stuff from the dollar store. Just start doing drag. I did drag my first time on January 16th, 1987. Way back in 1987. Oh, I swear. That's sad. Like, a lot of things don't happen for people until they get older, which is, you know, nothing wrong with that, but like, how nice it would have been when she was younger for this show to be, have been around. Um, well, you want to wear the dress. You don't want the dress to wear you. Oh, RuPaul's first days of placing doubt in the drag queen's minds. Think a little bit more about this. Okay. At that point. In other words, I'm pushing you, girl. I'm pushing you so you can make it to the top. Listen to Complete me. Failure. It's kind of overwhelming. Everything just laying there on the mannequins and on the tables. It was like, wow. I think the crew comes and cleans up whatever mess is left these days, I think. I think so. But now they had to ask the people to turn the air on back then. Yeah, now it'd be too cold in there. Makeup in less than two hours. It's just not gonna be. But back then the girls had Mac, okay? Yes, ma'am. It was Mac that was the makeup brand for the girls. Yes, ma'am. The dramatics. <laughs> what? How do you like my outfit? Oh, I can't even see her face. <laughs> oh, the lighting was bad. But you know what? Even though I think Matthew like did great job of her face especially the wigs but when i really think about it i'm like he really didn't seem it didn't seem like it was that much makeup like you can kind of still see like um man to it a little bit if that makes sense 
I guess you're going for this like natural kind of thing. But still, it was definitely a different time for RuPaul. It really was. And I still prefer this look over what's happening now um, as far as like the makeup in here. But yeah. Oh, old school RuPaul. Meryl Ginsburg. I'm very happy to be here. And hello. Oh, did y'all like Meryl? I didn't have an issue with her. <laughs> I guess Michelle did. And our extra special surprise guest judge. I love how like RuPaul is here. Like she's so dramatic with it. I live for it. She was so built for this. She really was. She was built for this. Some people are just built for this. Some people are built for this. Some people are built to work at McDonald's. Oh, we have to take it up with Jesus. He did it. Your engines. May the best woman win. She's the extra. Gentlemen, stop your engines. May the best woman win. It was a shake of the head for me. <laughs> Not very comfortable about the kind. Was that lighting really that bright back then? Oh my God, you can't really see their face. But I'm going to buy this outfit for it to be on a budget. It's cute. It's very like, it's very punk, you know? It has a little um, Scotland to it. It's, it's cool. I'm going to buy it. Wholesome breakfast. I felt that walk is wrong and stank. <laughs> this is okay, though. Like, uh, and you would think I, like Nina would like buy or rent it, right? But like, it's something, I don't know. I put it on layaway. I put it on layaway. And all the nervousness kind of went away. The Not dynamite. <laughs> um, the shape is wrong. There's no shape at all. Like, none. Like, everything is, like, too, like, the, this red maybe should have came down longer. And then the dress should have started down a little more closer to, like, the waist. It's just, like, no shape at all. At all. But the makeup, the makeup is pretty cute here for what I see. Uh, I don't know about this one. I don't know. <laughs> Now, that was the first person that Laomi should have called. Because <laughs> what? <laughs> I hate my outfit. Same. <laughs> I've got to make the best of what I've got. <laughs> but you know what, though? Like, she made something, and she put a lot of things together. You could tell it was thrift store, dollar store, you can tell. So, yeah, I have to give credit for that. Like... I'm gonna like, not buy or rent it, but I still get credit because like it, she did make something. Like you could tell she used the products, you know. It didn't doesn't it just doesn't seem like it's off the hanger. Mm. All right, look at the set and her and these dang broom wigs. <laughs> oh, BB. But you know what? I don't want to buy or rent it. I don't. I don't. I'm gonna. I don't know. A lot of these things I'm gonna just look and walk by. On the you know in the store just walk past them okay now i'll rent it okay it was that thing in the middle that was like bothering me okay now i'll rent it i'm like okay i'll rent it now i have a feeling that the judges in their mind i think she, she had a little more hip you know a little more uh, there to, to really give it all the body um but i'm going to rent this though I'm nervous i was shaking inside but I this is okay though like it's like you know kind of costume me though Put it on layaway. The issue with Jade is that Jade just is butch. <laughs> As a butch queen, like there's, like I don't know, like somebody with really good, good painting skills would have, would have to paint Jade to make her look soft, soft, soft. Cause she just, the features are just butch. Rebecca has escaped. After all the drama. Did somebody make this for her? I hate the wig. <laughs> the wig is so, ugh. But you know what? I'm kind of going to rent this. I kind of like it. The outfit. Like, the, the, like especially the top part. I'll rent that. But, yeah. But that wig, that porcupine on her head. No, ma'am. Tammy Brown's in town. I think now you hear the judges laughing. This is kind of cute. It's kind of like Shirley Temple meets Tinkerbell. It fits her aesthetic all the way. I'm going to rent it. Oh, um, that's my entrance. Oh. And now they have stairs. I mean, we have stairs going up behind the stage, but like on the stage, girl, what if you fall, girl? <laughs> Please take one step forward. Wow, the lighting difference of from the stage and RuPaul there. Like, yeah, I, I, I guess in the books they were going to, but like, I guess, yeah, like I guess I, could, I could still see male RuPaul. Like, yeah, the makeup was like it was good makeup, but it wasn't much to really transform her face all the way. 
now that I really look at it, honestly. The four of you are safe for now. You can leave the stage. One of wow, they really did play in Chanel's face, though. <laughs> you see you. I still see a little boy. I would love to see more of a little lady. See, RuPaul would never say that now. She would never say that now. And I hate it. Like, I mean, like, girl, just say it. Like, it's true. <laughs> just, she would never say that now, though. She would never. A little shy, mainly when you walk the runway. Really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> she had no issue going back with the judges. No, I'm not. <laughs> Man, I kind of feel like you sometimes you don't want to be here. <laughs> Bitch, I'm here. I took up. Like what? And she did not read like she was like not confident. Like she was walking down that walking down the runway that runway like she like she was the best looking thing there. Your your image is so strong. I'd love to see a. Oh, they made sure to put the light all on her face on that part. <laughs> Congratulations. You're still in the race. I am. So Nina won. Yeah. I think Chanel should have been out there. But yeah, Nina, that be, it was sitting. We're down to two dolls. Akasha. Pork chop and Akasha in the bottom. Oh. I still don't know if pork chop should have been there. Like, yeah, it's like horrible. <laughs> but she still made it. And it looks like what you would think would come from the dollar store and thrift store. Come on, Fantasia, plus Whitney Houston doing this song. <laughs> Was Porsche doing anything? Because <laughs> I'm like, they're not barely showing her at all. And the cops seem kind of ditzy. Like, I don't know, like, I'm like. <laughs> She's not even saying any words, Porsche at all. Like, it's just work. <laughs> if you don't know the lyrics of this, then something's wrong. And that shit almost fail. Oh my god. It was a small stage though. Like it's really small looking at it. Opportunity. And I've had a great time and I wish all of the contestants the best of luck. Oh, I forgot. I wish I would have seen more of Pork Chop now. Because she actually was sweet and she actually got along with the younger queen. She really did. And now it's like it's like all these years later, why hasn't she been on All Stars? Like yes, they ref they they have referenced her and stuff like that. And she's made a little appearance, but like, why hasn't she been on All Stars? I really wonder why. I have to ask her that. I mean, it's not that, you know, I, I got to work with her on that little kind of bootleg. I say bootleg because it wasn't a real episode, but the Hey Queen thing, but, um, yeah. Turn out to the plus size community. Live your dreams. Don't let anyone. <laughs> why Chanel looking at her like that? Unfortunately, I'm the first to go, but I made it here. Oh, they didn't have no exit things to say back then, or at least she didn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> They were cackling at Tammy. Well, that was the first episode of season one of RuPaul's Drag Race. Enjoyable to watch. You know, it's enjoyable because it was just better times. Better times for the world, I think, secretly. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If this does pretty good, then I'll continue. If it doesn't, then... Uh... <laughs> anyway, until the next time, stay beat, stay beautiful, but most importantly, stay blessed. Kimacho or Kimochi. Bye.